Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Fentress Williams, and I'm senior assistant to the pastor at the Alfred Street Baptist Church. Alfred Street is a historic African American church that started in 1803, and we're on our Sankofa trip and mission to go back, to reclaim our roots, to remember our past, to connect with our ancestors. The folks who are on this trip are, to my knowledge, all African American um, from all over the United States. The majority of our members reside in the DMV, um, DC, Maryland, Virginia area, but we have members from all across the country and the globe. And I think there are 80, about 80 of us. We went to the river earlier today on our way here where our ancestors would have been washed and then had oil placed on them so that they looked good, so that they would be, yes. Yes. Uh, Asan Manso played a pivotal role during the trip. Asan means persons on transit or people that are just passing through. Oral history of it that majority of the people that formed this community were some of the captives who managed to escape. But because we did not know how to return to wherever we were captured, we formed part of this community. So in this community, everything that connects to the trade, we don't joke with it. Because we were in the same chains and shackles. We saw with our own eyes our brothers that were killed. Maybe we managed to escape in here in order to tell our history from this end. But we also saw another group that were taken away. We didn't know where they were taken to. Until later, history made us know that those of our brothers and sisters were taken to the land alone. I had a couple of feelings. One made me um, think of baptism, that in the Christian tradition, we baptize, we place people in water and bring them out as a symbol of entering into new life. And in that context, this is a different kind. It's almost like a reverse baptism. It's from life into a, a kind of death. Um, so I thought about that and about the opportunity we had to go back and touch that place and remember our ancestors. And the other thought I had was in the grove, surrounded by trees, where um, I was thinking of the fact that our ancestors used to sneak away in the United States and worship in hush arbors or brush arbors, where they believed that the spirits of the ancestors abided. So it was powerful to be in that space. Um, I, 
Yeah. <laughs> um, I have never been to West Africa. I've been to South Africa and East Africa, but this is the place where it is most likely that my people are from. And I think many African Americans have this dream that when they come to West Africa, they will see people who look like them, that they will see reflected in other faces, their relatives. Um, I'm still looking for my father's face. Um, as I walk around, my father just had these beautiful cheekbones and was a very handsome man. And I think, I think I'm going to see someone who looks like him. So that was my expectation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 I have a picture of him. I will show you. We want to revisit these places where our ancestors experienced trauma. This is a part of our story and one way to connect with it is to come into that space. We believe that um, space, location matters, and we think that revisiting the places where our ancestors were is a kind of pilgrimage for us and a way to affirm our identity. Well, Dr. Judy's experience is different from mine in the sense that I am from the region. I'm from Liberia. Um, but uh, she and I, we do work for the Alpha Baptist Church. And uh, like her, despite the fact that I was born here on the continent, um, my ancestors also went through this, this, this horrible experience. Um, returned to Liberia in the early 1800s. And so I was descended from the um, the efforts of, of emancipated uh, Africans who their desire for freedom went to Liberia and settled. So my, my parentage uh, hails from, from persons who originally left here in chains but returned as free men and women. And so I, I'm, I'm privileged uh, to stand on what we consider to be holy ground here in, in, in Ghana. Well, awareness is liberation. And so one of the first uh, reasons why our pastor, uh, the Reverend Dr. Howard John Wesley, uh, his vision led us here was to create uh, awareness and exposure so there would be people of transformation, so that uh, atrocities such as what happened here many, many, many years ago would never happen. And we too become advocates because even though we may be privileged to live in what is considered to be the free world, we can still be uh, liberated for persons who are still undergoing injustices around the world because we believe it that the slavery still exists. Uh, we talk about human trafficking, we talk about uh, persons working in sweatshops in, in, in Asia. So we, we are not on a tour, as Dr. Uh, uh, Williams suggests, that we're on a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage that will um, uh, pull us toward agents of change. And so the end game is for all of us to become agents of change wherever we are. Yes, I think that. African Americans want very much to connect with their history and their past. Um, many of us had the experience of growing up in school and being asked, where do your people come from? And students get to say, my ancestors came from here and from there. And for us, it's a big question mark. So being in this space is uh, redemptive for us. It's restorative for us.